Matthew was always really busy. He was obviously working hard with school. A couple of mm. nights a week with rugby league and rugby union. And then mm. at the weekends would be rugby anywhere. He loved rugby. I was playing in my first match for the London Broncos Rugby League Academy and I remember consciously thinking to myself that my dream of becoming a professional rugby player had just become one step closer. But as I went into a tackle, one of my teammates came in to help me and as he did, so his knee hit me in the side of the neck, uh, breaking it instantly. Paramedics were asking me to move my toes. I couldn't. The physiotherapists were asking me if I could feel them touching my hands. I couldn't. And it was truly terrifying. And the last thing I remember before I fell unconscious was asking the paramedics to let me die. Our worlds just fell apart. Everything the that we everything that we'd ever done, you know, it was all just taken away in that one moment. I didn't need to be told that never again voluntarily move any part of my body below my neck and that the life that I'd lived, loved, enjoyed, but ultimately taken for granted for the first 17 years of my life was over. I knew. There was a lot of why me? What have I done to deserve this? But then it quickly dawned on me that if I was to lead any sort of meaningful life, I had to take responsibility for rebuilding my life. It was as it was. It was Matthew was injured and, you know, we had to move forwards with it. In hospital, towards the end of my nine month stay, they had given me a powered wheelchair that I could drive with my chin, so it gave me a little bit of independence. But the NHS wouldn't fund a powered wheelchair that I could drive by myself. So I was discharged home with a, a, a manual wheelchair, which I had to be pushed about in. But to have had the taste of a bit of independence, and have that taken away from me was just dreadful. And that was when Variety, the children's charity, stepped in to uh, fund this wheelchair for me. If I didn't have this wheelchair, I couldn't be the same person I am. I couldn't be Matthew King, I couldn't fulfill my ambitions or dreams. It's allowed me to rebuild my life and be the person that I am. I was excited and looking forward to life. I completed my A-levels and then went on to read law at university and since then have been working for Stuart's Law in the city. And I've done two Great North runs to raise money for charity and I've done the, the New York Marathon. Um, tried to devote a lot of my time to speaking with patients in hospital. In 2012, I had a letter from the Prime Minister saying that I'd been nominated for an OBE. I rang Mum and I remember saying that if I could shake, I would. He's exceeded any expectation anybody would ever have for him and we're very proud of him. If I can show that when you get out those four hospital walls, that there is a good life to be led, then you know, that does mean that my life you know, will be a worthwhile one. Mm -hmm.